Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So I recently had a comment. Someone was asking me about my computer setup here at home and at work. And I thought about that. Now I featured my computer and my desk and everything here uh, in other videos, but it was uh, bits and pieces in different videos. And if anybody wanted to get an idea of my complete setup, they would have to search through like four or five different videos. So, when we got that comment, my wife suggested that I go ahead and make one video dedicated to my setup here at work, and that way people could access that information in one video if they wanted to. And I thought that was a great idea, so that's what today's video is going to be about. Hang out, we will be right back, and we'll get started. Okay guys, so first things first, um, my monitor, I've got a 32 inch uh, HD, I think it's an LED TV, it wasn't expensive, um, and I've got it mounted on an arm that is attached to the wall. It's a wall mounted uh, monitor arm, or a TV arm. And I love this, I can push it back if I'm not using it, I can bring it up close to me, I can get really close. Uh, if I am working on my CCTV here, I can bring it over like this and I can get over here. I can even adjust it a little bit. Uh, I can rotate a little bit. And it just works great. I can put it wherever I need it. And uh, it's awesome. I recommend that they make desk mounted monitor arms, which when you see my office set up, you'll see that's what I have there. But if you can put your monitor on an arm, I think it's great. It frees up a lot of desk space and allows you to bring it really close. Um, I mentioned in that video that I watch TV on here. I watch streaming video like uh, Netflix and Hulu, things like that. And so I will bring it up close to where I can see and it's much more comfortable. Normally, if I want to watch TV, I sit in a chair in front of my TV in the living room and I'm hunched over like this trying to watch the TV. And that's not good for my back. Plus, I generally will block everybody that's trying to watch it that's sitting behind me. So, probably the best thing I've done in this office area is putting this monitor on an arm. Next, I have my CCTV. Now, if you saw my last video, I mentioned this CCTV that this is a used, older Optilect. Um, I actually got it from work, but in that video, I showed you guys how you can find these online for pretty cheap, much, much cheaper than brand new. And in that video, I also mentioned how this one that I use doesn't have a monitor on top. And that's because I have it connected to my monitor here. So all I have to do is change my input and it switches over to the CCTV. So then I can use this big 32 inch screen as my CCTV monitor. So next I want to point out I have a large print keyboard that is also backlit. So all the keys light up. Uh, this makes it really nice when I'm working at night and those keys that I do need to look down and uh, try and find, they glow nice and brightly and it's all large print um, I've got the white letters on the black background that's what's easier for me to see they also have the black letters on the white background and I believe they also have black letters on yellow background I'll put links to all these devices and uh, everything that I use down in the description below alright so the last bit of hardware I'll talk about is uh, my computer I'm sure some people are going to be wondering what kind of computer I use. Uh, this is an HP Envy Phoenix. It's HP's gaming computer, although I don't really game on it. Uh, I got it because I needed a strong computer, a fast computer for video editing and motion graphics editing. Um, also, I do a little bit of um, image editing, photography. It has a liquid cooled 3.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor. 10 gigabytes of RAM, uh, a 2 terabyte hard drive. The hard drive is a Western Digital Black, which is a, a pretty speedy hard drive. In fact, if you want to see me replace that hard drive, you, I'll link to the video where I showed that. Um, it's great, been working great for me. The only problem is it's super loud. It's, the, the hard drive is so loud, it's really annoying. 
When I first put it in, I thought the thing was broken because it made so much noise, it rattled. Um, but I researched and uh, just found out that that's the way it sounds. Other people are complaining about it as well. I wish I had researched that better before I purchased it, but you know. It also has an NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, two gigabyte graphics card. I'm not entirely sure which number it is. I bought this computer refurbished on Amazon for less than half the price. Uh, full disclosure, it's about a $1,700 computer, brand new. So I got a really good deal. I was very happy with that. Now I have my computer configured a little differently. Um, everything is configured to make it easier to use. So I can make my icons extra large here on the screen. I've got my really large clock up here in the top right. Um, once again, I've made a video about that before. I've also changed the resolution on the screen so that everything is much bigger than it normally would be. And that's very easy. You can just go into display settings here and right here in the middle change the size of text apps and other items and I've got it set to 150 uh, percent you can go larger things tend to get a little too big windows will be cut off the screen um, I found 150 that works for my size uh, computer my size screen I've got all the themes set to the dark theme in the settings softwares that I use I have Dragon Naturally Speaking software. And that is great for dictation when I'm writing out emails, writing out, responding to comments. I can just click the microphone icon and dictate the, the text and it's awesome, works great. I don't use all of the features that Dragon offers. It has a lot of features and I only use the dictation. That's all I ever use. Now down here in my taskbar, I have some some programs pinned, ones that I use almost every day. Of course, Sony Vegas, After Effects, Lightroom, Google Chrome, but uh, I also have Natural Reader, the free edition, and I did a video about this. I really enjoy this software. It allows me to highlight any text, and then with uh, pushing a single button on the keyboard, it will read it aloud to me. Now I know there's software out there like ZoomText, which I also have down here. That will do that for me as well, but ZoomText has a couple issues and I'll talk about that in a second. And this natural reader is just easy. I enable it and all I do is highlight and press a button and it reads it aloud to me. I don't need everything read to me, so it works great to allow me just to pick what I want to read and have it read to me. Now, as you see, I use Windows Magnifier as my primary uh, magnification software. And that is because I do have Zoom Text. This is Zoom Text Fusion, in fact. But I don't use it very much because two main issues I have with Zoom Text. Number one, it does not work with Chrome. If I'm using Zoom Text and I launch Chrome browser, then it just is a black screen. Um, I can hear everything but it's just a black screen and Chrome is my main browser um, I'd rather not switch to Firefox or something like that if I don't have to I'm kinda just waiting for Zoom Text to fix that little bug but then the other issue I have with Zoom Text is I don't have one of their fancy keyboards with the the keyboard shortcuts buttons on it I so I use the holding down control button and the scroll wheel on the mouse to increase and decrease the magnification. And it works fine. The problem is sometimes if I'm in the web page or something like that, when I do that, it won't change the magnification. It will scroll the web page up and down, which is the default um, action for that key command in Windows. And so I find that I'll have to minimize the web page, click on the desktop here, then I can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel and I'll have to get back into the web page. And it's, it's just kind of a pain. It's kind of a hassle. If anybody knows a, a solution to that, please let me know. Okay, guys, there you go. That was my computer setup here at the house. Uh, now that I've recorded this, I think it's going to be too long for just one video. So I think I'll put my work computer setup in the part two video. 
So be looking for that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. If you have any questions about this or anything, I'll do my best to help out. Please leave them down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.